Hi guys, it's Miss Shop Slot and I'm here with another haul. This is a resale haul. So if you are interested in anything, you can contact me at askmissshopslot at gmail.com. It is also in the description box below along with my uh, Mercari link. I do sell on Poshmark, but I prefer to sell on Mercari because Poshmark just takes way too much um, and I'm always willing to make deals, negotiate, etc. And yeah, so mostly everything in this video will be for sale. Um, we do have a mishmash of items. We got some vintage, some collectibles, some designer bags, some jewelry. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. And the first thing I'll do is I will do all the things that I got from this one sale. I went last year to the same sale and everything was like a dollar. Like he sells things so super cheap. Um, I did save him though, because he had a antique, um, fire extinguisher. It's like this glass ball that's filled with some sort of chemical that when it breaks it sucks all the air out of the room which also means that if you're in that room you'll die um so they're very very dangerous and he just had it sitting on the table like you know like something and he got he took it away um because i was like oh you don't want that to break here this little kid grabs it breaks it i mean it it was in a garage so it wouldn't kill anybody but it would definitely probably make you sick i'm assuming all right, so first things first, everything was a dollar from his sale. Um, I did pick up some other things, but I already sold those at auction. And the first thing we got was this Johnny Walker red label bottle case box. So cool. Um, my husband drinks blue label, black label, whatever the most expensive one is. I can't remember if it's blue or black. Um... So I'm going to give this to him for his bar. Cool little thing to put his stuff in. Unless I decide to sell it, I don't know how much it's worth. I haven't looked into that yet. So that's a TBD to be determined. Uh, this, again, from him was a dollar. It is a vintage shoe form. And it is unbreakable handy. I thought these had sizes on them. I'm not sure. To me, that looks like a woman's seven or eight. I don't know how those work, though. So. <laughs> um, we got some cute little vintage toys. We got the little Fisher Price 1977 clamshell compact. And you fill him up and he squirts water at you. Tub toys. Uh, this Fisher Price Music Pocket Book Radio Raindrops. I don't want to get that stuck in my head. So, <laughs> um, this is the first year's. I can't read the date, but his colors are still very vibrant. This very sad about. He said he tried to clean it. It says. I can't read if that says 1937 or 1997, maybe 97. He tried to clean it with some sort of cleaner and ruined it. To him, to me, I think it's very cool. And I believe that is a candle holder. Um, and then we got this for a buck, little daisy slingshot. My husband will love to play with that. These were also from him, and it is this Iroquois Beverage Corporation, Buffalo, New York, 1842. Um, the Rotary Company, Buffalo Craftsman in Metal. Very cool piece. And this last, there's two more things, but I thought this was so cool. It's like copper, and then it's got the deers. This is a thin plate of copper. Very cool. I don't know what these are called, but for a dollar, I loved it. And then we got two t-shirts. I think I got three. I feel like I got a vintage Metallica t-shirt too. Um, but we got this Ozfest 99. Very good condition. Single stitch. 
for a dollar and this one is kiss 2010 the hottest show on earth i know this is newer but i thought for a dollar super cute pick that up and last but not least from that same sale was this for a dollar she's gorgeous mink shawl so soft i am looking to try to make a new craft if it works out well i will show you <laughs> i'm not saying anything now uh we'll do shoes these were two bucks at a garage sale they are adidas um i don't like them now <laughs> so i bought these originally for me so i'll see if my daughter wants them i'm more of a nike girl now my cus husband calls me his little sneaker head. I have, probably have like 10 pairs of sneakers, if that. So by no means a sneaker head. And then we picked up these cute little Michael Kors for $7. Uh, wool or felt and all those pretty rhinestones. I sadly have to give up on the heels. I never wore a heel heel, but I did wear a lot of wedges. And my back just can't handle it anymore, so... We're going, we're moving on to flats, and I seem to like the the flats. These I picked up for myself. These are amazing. These are vintage leather um, mootsie tootsies, mootsie tootsies, mootsie tootsies, cowboy boots. Oh, shit, I didn't notice that. Oh, I did not notice that. That's all right. That's fixable. I'll take that to my cobbler. Um, otherwise, these beauties beauties are fantastic so i picked those up for me i think there were six bucks so dang it i'm gonna have to take those in actually i think i have shoe glue downstairs so i might not have to but i might just because i don't want to ruin them um i guess we'll do the makeup or the jewelry in that because i don't have a ton and we'll do the purses last so we got some maui gems for a dollar 99 no scratches, just some fuzz and lint. We got... Uh, I wish I would have looked better at his... They had a pair of vintage Ray-Bans. I put them back. I don't know why. I wish I would have picked them up. And there was another pair that I should have probably picked up too. And I didn't. But I did pick up these vintage Kazals for $5. These are... Oh no, I picked up two pairs. Okay, I lied. I did get those. Okay. These are amazing. Amazing. This is the first pair I've ever found of Kazals. They are expensive. The numbers are kind of faded, but oh, look at these. Look at these. First pair, super excited. Very expensive. And the other pair are, I don't know if I got, are these the Persols? Yeah, these are Persol. Five bucks. Excellent. Excellent deal. So we picked those up. What are these? Um, these were a dollar a piece. We got the Aurora Lights BH Cosmetics. They're all new, so. This one I will probably give to my daughter. These are a bit vibrant for me. Uh, you got Batman Revolution. Probably give that to her as well. I put these away for Christmas gifts as too. But I did have um, a friend of mine reached out and she is a caseworker and she gets a lot of older teen girls that do not get gifts um, in the foster care system. So I do have a big bag of stuff to give to her. So maybe I'll just give her these two. They're all new. And this one is Too Faced Popcorn Balls. Those are cute colors. So yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do with those. And then we got some jewels. Ding, ding, ding. I remember some things. I know I paid a dollar for this guy. I think this is wood. I 
think. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful enameling choker. It's so gorgeous. I love that. Um, this I know is five. And it is sterling with marcasites. And I don't know who. Hold on. cannot read what that says I don't have my loop up here it's too tight um it looks like it just says 925 with something next to it but I will get back to you on that it is beautiful this one was three and this is Brighton I don't know if this one is sterling I don't see any sterling markings but such a cool piece these were rest of this the only other thing that was these were three as well and i think everything else was a dollar a piece so we got this guy that says mexico something 925 mexico oh and it's just the love that that one i might be keeping um, and then this one was three as well. The green um, turquoise. And this is sterling. And then these are all a dollar. So we got... Okay, so this jewelry, now I remember, was from an estate sale. And... Those, yeah, this was... I thought this was a garage sale. This was a state sale. The prices are still the same, but it was an estate sale. And it was like later in the day. So I'm surprised that any of this was still there. Um, and this. Ugh. Sterling slave bracelet for a buck. They must not. They it, This sale was bad. It was, it was very sad. It was a teachers she used to be a principal and she was a collector of black americana and she had wanted to open a museum and she had all these amazing vintage and antique black americana and it was just they were not estate sale runners they may have just started doing it or were just asked to do it and it was basically like dig through like a diggers one like you just pick through and bring what you want to the front and then they and people were just stepping on things and things were broken it was just very sad this woman's whole life of saving these things to start a, a museum someday and people were just stepping on it throwing things dig oh it was very very sad um so i did not stay long i went to the jewelry section and i was out these were not six dollars um, they were a dollar. I thought these were fun. Um, we got some sterling silver sea earrings. My name. This thing I love. I think this is Joan Rivers. It's not marked, but I believe this is Joan Rivers. Very cool brooch. Um, these earrings. Mm -hmm. these are trafari oh i thought these were so fun though with the little hearts and then the dangly bits 
super cute. These pair, this pair is St. John. And that is the SJ with these little envelopes that open. Oh, cute. Or purses, they're purses. Oh, I might have to keep those. No, I'm not going to keep those. I am not keeping those. Um, oh, hold on, we got some tangles. She did have some St. John clothes that I did pick up. Um, again, everything was just in bags. And she obviously was a slight, I hate to call her a hoarder. It was, though. She was also a collector, which can be construed. Um, I myself am a collector slash hoarder. So I get it. Um, however, she had a ton of things and everything was, people were just ugh, tearing through it. I just couldn't do it. I looked at one bag of clothes, looked at a couple other things and I just, I couldn't do it. I felt so sad. Um, this is also St. John. And then it's got this beautiful snowflake charm. I believe this is a charm bracelet. St. John. Uh, this is a St. John pin. We got this, which is sterling. Um, a sterling necklace. And this is... Oh, what is it? Oh, this is that AKA 25 years. Alpha Kappa, Alpha, Sterling, and lastly, we got some pearls, big old beautiful pearls, and a nine two five clasp. So I do know that in the um, picture when I saw all the jewelry, because it was all just kind of thrown on a table. Um, there was a big chunky one of these bracelets not the slave bracelet but I do love I do have a chunky one but I like this because it's dainty I also have a smaller one that Princess Casserole gave me all right so that's that's that on the jewelry and my sad estate sale set they are not my favorite <laughs> I have to say I have not had really good experiences whether it's aggressive people or just sad the way people treat others things. But anywho, back to the fun stuff. This was $6. I thought this was really cute. Let me back you guys up a little. And it is this peach Dooney and Burke barrel bag. This will clean up nicely. There's really nothing wrong with it except for this little spot right here. So we're going to clean that up. The inside looks good. Just needs a little bit of vacuum <laughs> be vacuumed out um the bottom's decent for its age but i think this is a perfect little y2k handbag this was a freaking steal this is a brand new patricia nash for six dollars and um brand new still has stuffing in it the dust bag so we we snatched that very quickly it been out for a while too so people must have thought it was ugly i think it's great so we grabbed that uh this was from garage sale for three this is a vintage dooney still in pretty good condition crossbody strap. Um, let me back it up. Turn it up that way. Uh, we picked this Kate Spade up at a garage sale for five. And it is a pink. It does have a little mark right there. I should be able to get that out. Um, but it is a pink almost full-size book bag. 
inside. It's got a little spot right there. That was five. This I picked up at a thrift store. This was 15. And this is another Dooney. It's in really good condition. It has a little bit of a watermark right here, but nothing crazy. The handles are still in pretty good condition. The inside, it comes with this little bag. This just needs to be cleaned up. Inside just needs to be dusted out and uh, get the junk out of it. And then it also has a keychain on it. I love this chevron blue and white. Very good. And last but not least, I paid $20 for this. Uh, I had earlier in the day, while we were at garage sales, missed out on a Dooney. Um, oh, I, I have to do that next. Um, I did get some really good name brand purses from her. And then I hemmed and hawed on this Dooney she had. I should have just grabbed it. It was brand new with the wallet, the wristlet, and the keychain for, I think it was $25 or $30. Oh, no, it was $30. I offered her $25. She said no. And... I left and I should have just grabbed it. But anywho, we did get this one for $25. I think she's cool. It is this set. Brand new. And I think this was a set, right? Yeah. And then it came with the little, this little bag. And keychain brand new dust bag also has the cross bot body strap for 25 i do like this one better the other one was just a basic like this but it was like gray and blue i do like this one better it does have a little woo, it does have a little mark right there but nothing major and i think it's gorgeous so we're gonna get that listed and the rest of these so if you're interested in anything please let me know thank you guys so much for watching and as always like comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time